It was a moonlit night. Henry was taking a goods train to the station by the lake. Whenever that owl hoots, a mist rolls in, murmured Edward. There's a legend that when the mist's about, there's a ghost about too. Take care on the old line, Henry. Stupid bird, said Henry. Owls, mists, ghosts. Edward's going soft at the boiler. There's no mist. But Henry was wrong. What's that? cried Henry. It's an amber lamp, murmured his driver. That means proceed with caution. Who's there? No one replied. Henry crept slowly forward. He stopped by a tree. It had a sign nailed to it, beware of the viaduct. The driver was surprised. No one warned us about that before. And look, the signal's red. And the gates are closed. A a a and there's a fogman's coat. But where is its owner? Then they saw a light move within the station building. G -g 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 ghosts exclaimed Henry. Edward was right. Something very strange is happening, said his driver. I think it's best we go back. So do I, agreed Henry. By morning, the mist had cleared. A workman was talking about the unsafe viaduct. Lucky you didn't cross it last night. Yes, but we don't know who warned us, replied Henry's driver. Later that day, he spoke to Henry. The viaduct has been repaired. We can take our train back along the old line tonight. Henry really didn't want to. But when nightfall came, he was sizzling nicely. Suddenly, an owl hooted, and then Gordon thundered by. Oh, look, Henry spooked, said a freight car. Be quiet, snapped Henry. I'm not scared. But he was. A little later, the fog came down. As they approached the same area, they saw the amber light again. Here we go, said Henry's driver. Then, unknown to Henry, the gates mysteriously closed by themselves, and the signal went red. The freight cars had seen everything, and they were spooked. Faster, faster, there's a ghost about. Stop, stop, yelled Henry. A mysterious figure watched Henry go by. Ahead was a landslide blocking the line. Henry braked hard, but the freight cars hit some of the rubble and plunged into the ravine. Just then, Henry's driver saw a strange sight coming towards them. What's that? He said. The fireman laughed. That's our ghost. It's Old Bailey, the fogman. Old Bailey was very cross. I tried to warn you about the viaduct. Why didn't you pay attention? We're sorry, replied the driver. Is there anything we can do to thank you? I'd like to operate that old station. If you let me, I promise I won't spook Henry again. And in a little while, Old Bailey's wish was granted. You and your station will be really useful, said Sir Topham Hatt. Let's hear a hearty thank you to the friendliest, uh, ghost on the island. Everyone cheered, especially Henry, who was the happiest of all. <laughs>